Houthia, Iraq, April 9th, 2004. 14 Fox Company Marines patrol the roadway into Lutafia. Their mission? Look for roadside bombs and insurgents. A Marine and his spotter overwatch the patrol from atop an oil tank 1,000 yards away. I had set up a little observation post atop one of the towers. We could look down into the city, see what's going on, see if anyone's moving around, just look for suspicious activity. Toad him with the decal up there with me. You just never know when you might need it. The sniper, Steve Reichert. One mile kill shot. Reichert's weapon, the Barrett M82A3 Special Application Scoped Rifle. A 50 caliber beast. The weapon was a 50 caliber semi-automatic Barrett M82A3. Holds a 10 rounds of 50 caliber ammunition as a variable power scope. Max effective range, they say, is 2,000 yards. With that weapon in that round, you can stop a car or a truck. Riker chooses the 50 cal over his standard M40A3. If we had strong wind during the else, I wanted something that would actually buck the wind a little bit better than if the inserts actually took up covered positions, whether inside a building or behind a car. I wanted something that would actually punch through the material and take them out. All is quiet on the ground below until Reichert's spotter picks up an object on the road. Corporal Tucker noticed an animal in the road that wasn't there the night before. I got on the scope and zoomed into it. We saw just a little bit of glint coming off what we thought was a wire. They had mentioned to us in the past the insurgents are starting to emplace IDs into dead animals, tossing them to the side of the road. Reichert radios the Marines on the ground. We've got a potential ID in 20 yards around the bend. ID! Roger that. We're setting up a perimeter. They cordon off the area surrounding the IED. Get it set! So when we actually saw the glint coming off the wires, we felt good, like, hey, we've done our job. Maybe we can actually get that IED taken care of. Disarm it, nobody gets hurt. We're set on the back side! That's our Roberts! How you doing? Welcome! IED is secure. We were just watching them set up that perimeter around the IED, and then 30 seconds later, everything erupted. We got hit with RPG first, and then the AK started coming in. Being that far away, I could actually see things unfolding, where the insurgents uh, appeared from and launched the RPGs, and then you just saw dirt and dust kicking up everywhere from machine gun fire the Marines were taking. Once I saw the uh, firefight start to erupt, I made a quick range estimation, put the correct dope on the scope, and then just started scanning for targets for opportunity. The insurgents are 1,350 yards away, a distance of more than three quarters of a mile. Riker adjusts his range, or dopes the scope, to 10 plus two, 1,000 yards plus two minutes of angle. The Marines on the ground fight their way into the town and take cover in an abandoned schoolhouse. They are greatly outnumbered. All the other insurgents in the city heard gunfire and were like, yes, party time, so they grabbed their little AKs and went to the gunfire. They noticed one or two guys pop up on top of the roof, and uh, that's when we went to work. That first guy, I saw him pop off on the roof, swung the crosshairs over to him, flipped the weapon on kill. Sent the round down range. Corporal Tucker immediately advised me, hey, you're way low. And then it clicked on my head. And, uh, they've obviously changed positions. Made another quick dope change on the scope. Sent the next round down range. That hit its mark. It was just a pink mist. Even at three quarters of a mile, 50 cal is devastating. The Sassers was mainly designed for armored personnel carriers, vehicles, uh, hard targets. So when you hit a soft target, um, a person, they just rip apart. 